this time. Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, I'm Izzy. I'm Rob. I'm Gemma. And we are currently social distancing away from each other. And as you know, everything is changing at the moment. Um, we can't come to church um, and you guys might not be able to go to school. Um, so we're also trying to freshen up our look a little bit. Um, now this might change week by week, but for the moment we're going to be giving you a video every Sunday. Uh, and guys, how do you think we can change our look? <gasps> Fashion show! Change can be really simple, like getting changed in the morning, but it can sometimes be really difficult, like what we're facing right now. Right now, so much is changing. You can't go to school, you can't, uh, can't go to church. It's really difficult to get stuff in the supermarket, and quite a lot of people are getting ill. It's a very difficult time. But Gemma's gonna tell us about a time when change for her was really difficult, but God helped her through. So, a couple of years ago, um my dad got really ill and um, I came home from work one day, walked through the door and my mum actually opened the door before I got there, which I thought was weird. And she gave me a hug and she just said, he's gone. And uh, my dad died that day. And that was a massive time of change. It wasn't something that I was expecting to happen. And uh, I sat outside with my siblings um, and we just sat in silence and we just cried and didn't even look at each other. We just stared at the floor. And I remember just saying to God, okay, God, I just need some compassion now. And he gave that to me. And it wasn't something really dramatic. It was very peaceful and quiet. And what really got me through was just thinking about God's promises. God promises never to put us through anything that we can't handle. And now that it's years later, I can really see his works, even if at the time they were really slow and quiet. Um, but the Bible has amazing scriptures to help us through, and Izzy's going to share something which you might find helpful. In the Bible, in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7, it says, Cast all your anxiety on him, because he cares for you. And we have seen so much um, this term, how much God loves us and how much he cares for us. Each Sunday morning in Pathfinders, we have been filling up a manor jar filled with um, things to be thankful for, things that have happened this week. Um, and they're... Sometimes little funny things like half term and Domino's cookies, but we also have really great things that have happened. Someone put in people praying for me and helping me to serve Jesus. We have a baby at church was poorly, um, and we had a thank you that he recovered. And then a couple of weeks later, we had thank you for his baptism. And we've seen so many times that God has provided for us, God has loved us, and God has been there. Um, and We've seen this in our Bible studies as well. We started in Exodus, where we saw how God provided um, for the Israelites. He gave them manna. He took them where they needed to go. It might have taken longer than they expected, but he got them there. And we've just also started looking at Elijah. And he goes to all these different places, and he you know, is always worried and stressed and doesn't know where he's going to end up. But throughout that, God is with him. Um, God is looking after him. So as we go through this time of stress and anxiety, I know that I'm anxious about not knowing what's going to happen. But we don't need to be because God is with us. We know that God will look after us. And his goodness will always, always um, overshadow any darkness that we have in our life. Um, so we're going to be praying for you um, this week. And if there's um, anything you need, contact us. Um, you know where to find us via the office. And below in the description in this video, there's going to be a song for you to listen to and also a prayer for you to read um, if you'd like to. Um, but we'll be praying for you and we will see you next week. See you next week.